Alright, hey guys, it's Richie. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And uh, today I'm going to be going over a deck that I have, you know, uh, found. And I think I'm really liking it. It's not fully complete, but it is very, very good. I think the only card I'm missing is the Draco Berserker. But I'm very excited to show you a deck list. And with it, the uh, a uh, replay that I have against Generators in High Plat. Right, so... Uh, we play three Adhara uh, for, for, for the hand traps, obviously. This is like in every deck, three Maxi, three Ash, three Imperm. Then we pretty much play every single Tenyi. Play three Adara, three Ashuna. Ashuna is literally the best Tenyi in the deck. He, he just banishes from the grave and special summons any Tenyi, but it locks you out into Worms. Uh, I've also played Invoke Tenyi. I may look into that in the future as well again. Uh, three Vishuda, this bounces back any card. And then Adara adds back any banished. And then we play two of the other ones. We play two blue, two red, and two green. And Mare Mare, we play two Mare Mare. It's not even a brick, because if you draw it, you can just pitch it with the Link 2. And then you can just bring it back, right? Honestly, I was thinking playing three. Ah, not nah, that that's a brick. <laughs> but yeah, this is like the main playmaker. Uh, three pots, because you don't really care what you banish, honestly. Uh, Foolish Burial Goods, because you can send the uh, Dragon Circle with it. Dragon Circle, if it wasn't if if you didn't use it this turn, you can banish it and you can um add any tenny card. So that's that's pretty sick. The foolish burial goods. I only have one of it as of now, I'll probably I, th I think I think it's good at one. I don't know. It's not too great, honestly. Like I don't think the trap does too much. Or yeah, I don't know. I haven't been feeling the need to put in another one. Uh three vessel of the dragon cycle literally one of the best playmakers in the whole deck right uh so it sends any worm which will normally be a shuna depending you know on what you're playing it and then it lets you add one tenny if you control a non-effect monster which is just amazing so you get a foolish and a ten uh, an add at the same time which is amazing uh we just play one cosmic for the uh one called by uh three heavenly dragon circle Right, I explained the second effect in the grave. What this does is uh, you can tribute a worm and then add another worm, which is okay. Uh, but if you tribute a non-effect worm, basically you can special summon the worm. You don't really use it. Well, I mean, you can use it to dodge hand traps. Uh, you can use it to dodge imperms. They're not widely played. Uh, most of them are just maxi and then ash. We really just play it to dump. So if we draw this, we dump it with the link two. And, you know, we have an add. Uh, three imperms and the trap is just a uh, speller trap for monster negate which is amazing uh it doesn't pop so most of the time i want to use it on a speller and trap most uh so, so, so it's good uh so it's a negate if you control a non-effect that's pretty much it and if it was pops so like all these lightning storms going around and these harpies feather dusters it's special summons a non-effect uh from deck we're going to the extra deck now uh two two synchros this is our main one this is just here I, I don't really go into it as much uh one link spider three monk best link in the game for uh, for tenny sorry uh one land for all the lists i've seen i think people play a lot and it does come in handy one Cerberus, one uh, phoenix right here's a tenny the link two probably the like probably the best one in the extra deck to actually make plays with so you discard a card, target one worm, special it. This is the only card that can special the mayor, uh, the mayor mayor, and it lets you make all your plays. Uh, but it does lock you into uh, ten new monsters uh, in the extra deck, and so you can't activate effects of other mon uh, extra deck monsters. Uh, then we play two the berserker. Uh, it's just a non-effect link three, three K beater though. One uh, Sasara, is that is that how you say? It? I'm not sure. Um, pretty good cards. Uh, quick, uh, while you control the face up non effect, uh, monsters your opponent control cannot target effect monster for attack. And they can't target them with card effects, which is really, really good. So, uh, basically, if you control a non effect, like if you control a 3k, all they can target, all they can target is that. They, they can't target these. They can't target the effect monsters you control, which is amazing. And quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls and special summon a 10 e token. So, you'll always have a non effect uh and then the one access code uh it comes in handy because mo most of the time like on your turn three you have a lot of you have a lot of setup already anywho uh that's the deck list we'll get into the game now like this is me trying to 10 for like 
I've only played like two or three games with it. I'm not the best. I, I'm pretty sure I made a good few misplays. So, um, this hand is, is okay. It's not even the best, but like it, it can put up stuff like the vessel and the Ashuna, probably the best cards in this hand. And this card basically, uh, in the grave, it can protect us. Uh, this card in the grave can, you can banish. And when it, when you attack someone, uh, you, they lose 1500 attack basically. All right, I'll, I'll let it play. You'll see how it goes. So we activate a Shun effect special because we control no effects. We go into the link one. Fast forward a bit. Uh, we activate Vessel. We dump the Mare Mare because it's the only dump and we add Adara. Adara lets us add basically a Shuna. Uh, we go Pot of Desires, Hope No Ash. <laughs> they have no Ash and we draw the Heavenly. Like, okay, you have to understand, like, Ash is always the awesome draw, but the Heavenly draw is amazing because if we go into the Link 2, we can just pitch it and we'll be add, able to add the trap and we'll be able to special summon so we don't have to sacrifice our resources either so we can just literally just dump the trap because we never use the trap anyway and if he imperms us anywhere during these plays we can just dodge it it's amazing uh so activate shuna you go summon vishuda uh vishuda is basically for follow-up plays uh it can bounce cards in the grave basically and it's pretty good so it's a good follow-up to have for next turn then we go link tune to the shaman so we're gonna pitch the I believe we're gonna pitch the circle and we're gonna special the mirror mirror. Uh we normal summon our Mapora. Like like you have to realize we literally just don't even normal summon a lot. Like I could have normal summoned this when I had the two monks eater, but I was like, it's okay. Plus, uh so we go uh link four with the shaman and the two other tokens that we use with Mare Mare into Salsara. Adara effect add the Ashuna all the time. Ashuna is like literally the best tenny like the generic one a vishuda is pretty good as well then we link those two off or i mean synchro those two off for the draco berserker and we can activate heavenly circle now and we can search the trap then we set the trap and just pass right so right here we have one monster negate uh sorry not negate uh monster banish when they activate an effect a uh omni negate a a ash that's three disruptions if you want to count this as a disruption this makes all of our monsters that are uh all our effect monsters untargetable and uh i can i can target one monster they control and create a token of it basically i guess you can count it as four disruptions but there's definitely three uh, three disruptions which we put up it's very it's a it's a decent deck i definitely like didn't know how to play against generators and i didn't also know like how to play against tenny so i did make a few misplays we go ash the curse it just lets them draw two by pitching a level nine it's pretty good uh pretty pretty good uh hit i guess he tries to go lone fire obviously obviously we do not go draco berserker because it's still as resolved so we just negate it with the tenny uh the tenny trap and I think he's just forced to... Oh, yeah, he has the field spell. Right, this field spell is crazy. It's just so annoying. It uh, Every time we draw, including our main phase, it just lets us get him special summon one, and then he, like... All right, so uh, we, we have the Ash here. We top deck an Ash, which is amazing, but he has the call by here. So he does get his uh, little board. He summons, like, five. He summons four tokens and one monster. It's crazy. <clears throat> So we activate Sasara right here just to make a token. I don't think it really matters. <clears throat> and then he gets uh, four tokens here. I'll just fast forward the tokens bit. Okay. Back to us. Uh, let's see what we do. Right. We link two into the Shaman. Because Shaman only requires two worms. Yeah, can, they can be tokens. Now he activates this effect. I think this is a misplay here. I do Berserker. But he gets to summon his like 3k beater, and I didn't know what generators do, so I was like, okay, I'll just banish it. Oh, my bad. Then he gets this 3k Hades looking guy. If you're into Greek mythology, we we refute it here, <laughs> trying to get this guy. Uh, he can sack two and negate it, uh, which is okay. I mean, I probably could have tried to bait something out. And right now, so if we've shooted and he responded, we could just banish it. But I can't now because I've already used it up, which is my bad. So it costs us a turn. 
and I can't really force out anything anymore. I don't really know what to do. I'm um, like, okay, we'll just Vishuda here. I don't know what to do. So Vishuda, he sacks two to negate. I'm like, okay, sure. We'll just go ahead and... Ah, oh, we're just trying to summon as many monsters here. And we get a Vishuda follow-up for next turn as well, which is good. Go into a second Berserker. We hit that. And then I thought <laughs> I activate the green in the grave, uh, the Nahada, and I thought it was attack and defense, but turns out it was just attack. And it was kind of annoying. So it's a pass there. He draws for turn. We're still really good for next turn, by the way. Like it's really, really, really good setup. Uh, he draws into. I think he draws into that. Right. Uh. Right, so he just, he summons this guy, uh, sacks it off for another level 9, and then links 2 into this guy. Uh, I'm like, sure. He activates the effect, I just, uh, I just, uh, Mapora it. So, Mapora is basically, if they target a non-effect monster that I control, uh, I can, uh, banish it from my grave, I can negate and pop. It's amazing, right? Like, even the Mapora in the grave, we didn't count it as a negate at the very start, but technically it still is. But it's more of a disruption. And then we take a token of it before it dies, so we get a 3100. And then we get in pop it. It's pretty decent. Uh, we still- they still get the thingy, because whenever we draw, it's kind of annoying. Yo, Dylan, my boy, how you doing? Okay, so they they go special the the this guy again. That's their third one, but we killed them this turn anyway. Oh, spoiler! Hello, Dylan. How are you doing? Uh, so we go uh link four into just like straight up uh or no link two into a phoenix. Okay, and we pop the field spell. We try try to, right? And now I Draco, and this is the right play. I'll tell you why. Because of last time, I messed up, and we were locked into worms because I activated Shaman, or Tenny effects. So, like, we couldn't go into the access code. But if we Berserker here, and he summons that Hades-looking guy again, I can easily go into the, uh, the access code. That's why I made the Nightmare Phoenix, so it's an effect monster. So we can go Nightmare Phoenix, Vishuda, and Draco into an access code. So he gets the Hades guy again. And then I target it, and he just straight up, like, I just, like I didn't even mean to bait out in the gate. He just negates it. I'm like, sure, go ahead, dude. I literally don't care. I'm like, sure. And then we just link off those guys for access code, and uh, this is going to be game. I mean, I know. I, I've been liking 10 years. I'm not, obviously not the best with the deck, but it's good. I I do think, you know, it could be some... It, I, I definitely think it's fun. It's definitely one of the more fun decks I've ever played. And then Axis Code and Berserker for game. That was a good game. I didn't actually know what Generators did until this game. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch you later.